Hey everyone, we're back for another tip of the week and this one is called what does a filter do? So on a synthesizer after we get our waveform using an oscillator and we play a note the next thing you probably want to do is use a filter. So what does a filter do? There are two primary controls on the filter. One is called either the frequency or the cutoff um, they or the frequency cutoff it kind of means the same thing and then one is called the resonance so when we play any type of note it is oscillating at a frequency and if we pull up the EQ here in logic and turn the analyzer on um, which is right here um, as an example here, I just have uh, a C and an octave C playing at the same time, so we can hear that. And so what we're seeing on the EQ display here, each of these frequencies is necessary to produce this sound. And its complexity and its timbre and all of the things that, all of the words that we would use to describe it are right here. So technology is pretty cool now because you can just do this um, in in your software previously you'd need another you would need a fancy scope to measure and see audio waveforms now we can just do it in our, on our laptop in real time so this is what we're looking at we're looking at all of the frequencies that make up these two C notes that I'm playing. Now right here if we look at the filter section of the synth and I'm using the ESP in Logic. So here is our main control and this is our cutoff. So right now it's all the way open meaning it's allowing all of the frequencies to come through. As I turn this knob counterclockwise it's going to start to take some frequencies out and it's going to start from the high end and move down to the low end. So let's try that now. Okay. So as I roll it down, we see this entire shelf basically from 1K, so that's 1000 Hertz, up to 20,000 Hertz. It's all gone. So the filter is cutting off those frequencies and right now it's in a low pass mode and what that means is it's letting the low frequencies pass through the filter. So there is a low pass and a high pass and a band pass. So a high pass would be the opposite, right? If we turn the filter cutoff down, it would let the high frequencies pass through. Right now we're doing a low pass, so we see that only the low frequencies remain from our original source. So let me open it back up again. Okay, and there, there all the frequencies are back. Okay, now the resonance control, as we bring the resonance up from zero, and let's say we bring it more towards 50 in the center, we can see how it already affects the wave. So when you bring up the resonance, you lose some low frequency information, but the filter cutoff becomes a little bit sharper. So let's try that here and you can listen. Okay, hear that? Okay, amazing. So what the resonance does is it makes the cutoff have a sharper peak. So I can show you this on an EQ itself. So really what it's doing, if we have a normal, if we have our frequency cutoff without resonance, it's basically like using this shelf here and it's gonna slowly remove these frequencies from our source sound. If I add resonance to this signal, 
it's like creating a larger peak and it creates a filter sweep through a specific set of resonant frequencies so we hear those frequencies more as the cutoff moves across the spectrum so let's listen to that so you can hear and you can see it actually since this peak has a higher amplitude it's now at about 15 decibels it's pulling up the resonant frequencies out of this selection and as we sweep it across we're getting a little snapshot of those frequencies that we're highlighting so that's really what a resonance control on a filter does it's adding amplitude to the curve and it's highlighting specific frequencies and there's our fundamental which is the C so I hope that helped explain how a filter works, what it's actually doing. Um, the reason we want to use a filter is it really works as an EQ. And so when we're doing sound design or mixing, we're creating sounds that are going to be used in a larger scheme with other sounds, we need them all to fit. Every sound needs to have a place. And it's possible that if I just left the sound wide open, maybe I don't want all this top end in this synth. Maybe I want it, maybe I want to highlight just the bass frequencies. Maybe something like that. It's a little bit softer on the ears. Maybe that's more of what I want to go for. So a filter is basically one of the main EQ controls that you have on a synth. Um, and so it's great for getting your sound to fit in and not be too resonant, not take up too much space in the overall mix. And this applies for composition, this applies for when you're playing live, this applies for any time you're making a sound. You want to think of how it fits in the larger scheme of things. I hope this was a useful tip talking about what a filter does on a synthesizer. Um, I'd like to go into more detail um, using these kind of basic synths and logic and how they work um, and explaining the basic architecture of synths. So stay posted for my upcoming videos because I plan to go over that. Okay everyone, have a great day and I'll see you next time.